McBride. Uh, I'm uh, not used to it yet in, in public. <laughs> not used to it. Come on, Carl, kiss her. Carl, kiss He's not used to it yet in public. <laughs> I have to change that, I think. <laughs> oh. 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 Joseph, I think you should start the toast. Oh, no. <laughs> My friends, I drink first to the happy couple. To Inga Helms Weiss, the newest member of our family, and my son, Carl. To the happy couple. And since the Helms and the Weiss families are getting to know each other, I propose a toast to my in-laws, Frau Helms and Herr Helms. Frau Helms. Frau Helms. Their son, Hans, and all their friends and relatives. And now a toast to my brother, Moses Weiss who has come all the way from Warsaw for this wonderful day. Moses. Hello. Moses. And to my wife's dear parents, Frau and Herr Pallets. Less introduction, more champagne. Oh, Moses Weiss, did anyone talk to your sister before she went ahead with this? Uh, nobody can talk to her. <laughs> oh, Papa, it's your turn now. I, I am afraid our family is not so famous as yours, Dr. Weiss. No, Herr Helms, we're all friends here, all good Berliners. Moses, too? I also drink to the married couple, and my beloved wife, and my son Hans, who is now serving the fatherland. No better training for a young man? What branch? Infantry. I was in the infantry myself. Captain, 2nd Berlin Machine Gun Regiment. My Kaiser gave me this. Iron Cross. First class. Oh. So, I have said all I can. To everybody, good luck and happiness. Oh, Carl, come on. Let's see if you can dance better than you can kiss in public. <laughs> dance with me? No, I can't stand your perfume. I'm not wearing any. I'm naturally sweet. Yeah. Congratulations again. Now, Moses, I know what you're thinking. Not much of a Jewish wedding, was it? Civil ceremony, no breaking of the glass. <laughs> Joseph, I understand. You mustn't think too harshly of us. We still celebrate the high holy days. Please, no more excuses. I'm happy for Carl. Uncle Moses, you dance with me. Ah, little <laughs> My dancing leaves much to be desired. Oh, please. Oh, please, come on, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> You'll be sorry. No. <laughs> Are you happy, Bertha? Carl is happy, I am happy. You didn't answer me. I answered as best I can. They're lovely people. They're nice parents. Look, Carl is so much in love with her. Yes, I can see. Moses, eh, Helms? It doesn't concern us. We're a good family. You don't read the newspapers? Inga getting involved in something she may regret? Oh, she'll be fine. Listen, they are good Jews. They're physicians, the old men of war hero. It's a pity you couldn't have postponed the wedding for a few months. What do you mean? There's a rumor that the party may soon forbid mixed marriages. It would have saved you a lot of heartaches. Oh, don't look so terrified. It may be all right. <laughs> Just drink this. <laughs> sit up, sit up. <coughs> Simple nicotine reaction. So all remedy tea. How are you feeling? Better, thanks. Ah. I can take the champagne. I must swallow some tobacco. <laughs> oh, Hans, that uniform doesn't make you a man. He's always had a weak stomach. I hope they feed him well in the army. Oh, yes, I'm sure they do. Besides, you have a doctor in the family now. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. What kind of physician are you, Dr. Weiss? A good one. <laughs> Manners, Rudy. Dr. Weiss? Uh, general practice. I have a small private clinic. I was wondering about your practice, seeing as your brother's from Poland. I'm from Poland, too, originally. 
but you practice in Berlin. I consider myself almost as German as my wife. I went to medical school here. As a Pole, what do you think of the political situation today? My friend, I never discuss politics. Ask me about a new treatment and I'll have an opinion, but <laughs> politics, never. <laughs> I guess it's changed since my day. The army? You were in France? Yes. Well done, chemin des dames. Mets? Let's pray we never have to fight again. No more wars. I'll drink to that sentiment, madame. Field Marshal von Hindenburg, there's an officer for you. Courage, honesty. The old guy, still one of the finest. That's who should be looking after things in Germany. The generals. Someday the generals will take care of that crowd. What crowd? I can see what you're wearing. Some good army men, and they pack up. Fantastic. The militarists are on your side of the family. Grandpa still thinks he's in uniform. <laughs> Mama always said he should re-enlist. <laughs> <laughs> what are things like in Poland, Moses Weiss? <laughs> I run a small pharmacy in Warsaw. I can tell you about prescriptions. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you are all our guests today. So, no more politics. Yes, why don't we all sing something? Carl, go ask the accordionist to play something nice. We can all sing. <laughs> Yes. Now, now, something we all know. What about the Lorelei? It's not approved. Oh, please play it. Surely Heiner is appropriate at a wedding. Madame, I like the song myself, but... Please play it. Oh, please, I love it also. <laughs> is a bit disorganized. Quite all right, Dr. Weiss. Mrs. Stork, you have a slight systolic murmur. So quiet it can barely be heard. Absolutely nothing to be concerned about. Is, is there anything that can be done? I'm going to give you something for the anemia, which has something to do with the murmur. Don't overexert yourself. Moderate exercise is fine. I'm not afraid of exercise with two babies in the house. Marta, perhaps we can get a maid a few days a week. Oh, Eric, we can't afford one. Well, try to take it a bit easy. Don't try to be the perfect Berlin housewife, scrubbing and ironing all day. You're much too pretty for that. And, of course, let me know if the weakness continues. I want to see you in a month, all right? You're quite sure it's nothing serious? I'd want to know, Doctor. On my honor. See, it's what we call a grade one murmur. People live active lives. We'll clear up the anemia and you'll be as healthy as you are. Gosh. So weren't you related to the family that had the bakery on Kleinstrasse? I'm their son. <laughs> Why didn't you mention it? My husband is hesitant to presume on old friendships, Doctor. Presume? I treated him for the chicken pox when he was ten years old. Tell me, how, how are your parents? Well, my father died a few years ago. He'd lost the bakery during the Depression. And my mother, she lives now in Munich. I'm sorry. I certainly remember those wonderful Stalin on Thursdays. I think it was Wednesdays. I used to deliver them. But I defer to you. It's a pity. There were so many good people who were hurt in those years. That's why I'm so proud of my husband. Marta, please. He finished law school in spite of everything. You have a right to be proud. Let me know how you feel. The tonic should help. And don't worry. Thank you, Dr. Weiss. Goodbye. 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 Who's next? Mr. Lowe. Warehouseman wanted? Kitchen assistant? Night watchman? Not much for a fine legal mind. Be patient, Eric. Patient? Marta, I'm going to have trouble paying for those visits to the doctor. I trust you till you get a job. I don't live like that. Running up bills, begging people to carry me. You can borrow from my parents. I have done all the borrowing I get. Oh, darling. 
You're too modest. You don't convince people how bright you are. Oh, yes. Top tenth of my law school class and unemployed. Perhaps you should try something other than law. Oh, my tireless wife. Your heart murmur is no match for your will. Come on, I'll buy you an ice cream. Dr. Weiss said you should have nourishing clothes. Eric, don't reject my suggestion out of hand. But sweetheart, it's always the same suggestion. Yes, let my uncle talk. Talk to Heydrich about his brilliant young friend, Councillor Dorr. Well, at least let him make you an appointment. Martha, you know I'm not political. And my father was a socialist. What would he think if I ended up with people who used to bash his head at rallies? Times change. Eric, there are lots of good union members in the party now. I know all about your indifference to politics and how you hate civil service. I'm a failure. You're not. Oh, Eric, I love you so much. I want so many good things for you and for the children. Heidrich will look at me and make me a clerk. I'm no fire eater. I hate guns. I hate parades. I'm a baker's son who worked his way through law school. And with a wife too pretty and too good for him. And the wife will be angry and harm her poor heart. Her husband doesn't do her this favor. Schemer. You win. Dorf, Eric, age 24, born in Berlin, graduate of the University Law School, no party affiliation. Well, not until this moment. Why the sudden interest? I need a job. Now, that is refreshing. You don't know how many braggarts I have to listen to. Sycophants and connivers full of love for the party, the Fuhrer, the Reich. Such a relief to talk to a man who just wants a job. I respect the party and the work the Fuhrer is doing. Naturally. Now, sit down. Young lawyer, good education. Shut out of his profession because some Jew or socialist got the job? I make no excuses. Why not? We know who our enemies are. What do you know about us? That you are the police arm of the state, internal and external security. I confess I have trouble keeping the SS, the SD, and the Gestapo separate. <laughs> so do we. Doesn't matter, I run them all. Under the benign leadership of the Reichsführer Himmler, of course. What do you feel about Jews? Neutral. I like an honest man. I hope, General, you don't regard me as an honest fool. Not at all. This pure bigotry of true believers is admirable. But at times, it's better to be neutral, analytical, cold. Because, you see, the Jewish world conspiracy, Bolshevism and capitalism conspiring to crush Germany is a cold, analytical thing. Racial poisoning by Jews, infiltration into our national life, betrayal of German ideals, very real stuff, Dorf. Oh, I've read the Fuhrer. Then you know what importance he attaches to our racial policies. In fact, they're central to our program. We'll solve a multitude of problems, economic, military, governmental, simply by attacking Jews. Yes, sir, if others will agree. It's an exciting prospect. I'm afraid you'll have to forget some of the notions you learned at law school. My mind is open. Good. I'm partial to open-minded people, especially if they start with a good mind. You're in the top ten of your class, and a commendation from your professor, good. I'm afraid, General, I'm not a military type. I've never fired a gun. I haven't worn a uniform since I was a Boy Scout. That's the easiest part of the job. Any idiot can put on a uniform. I'll send you to personnel. They'll arrange a security check. Security? Our well, routine stuff, racial purity, political affiliations. I have to assume you wouldn't walk in here without being Lily White. No danger there, General. You know, in a way, I'm sticking my neck out. Hitler once said he'd never rest until it was a disgrace for any German to be a lawyer. I'm joking. Welcome, Dorf. Thank you, sir. Heil Hitler. Well, that's very good. Without a prompt from me. Heil Hitler. Peter, look at Daddy. 
Marty? Martha, please. He's too big to be hauled around. Peter, how do you like your father? Oh, Peter, it's only Daddy. Uniform's too much for him. Almost too much for me. Eric, you look heroic. The boots are too tight. I'm glad I don't have to wear it all the time. Oh, you must. People will respect you. The shopkeepers must know. That's how we'll get the best cut of meat. Uh, my shrewd banana. Well, why not? When you get a chance to have power, influence, why not use it? Yes, why not? Peter? Peter, it's only Daddy's uniform. <laughs> oh, I'm afraid my first day as a policeman is a dead loss. It's like a scene from the Iliad. Hector goes to put on his shining helmet with the plume, and his little son moves away in terror screaming and frightened at the aspect of his own father. Can't recall the rest, something about Hector asking Zeus to make the boy braver than he was. I'll make you both brave. Yes, who's next? Oh, here's Rolf. Oh, sit down. I, um, I assume this is about your wife. Pity I never saw her again. She's all right. She's a bit tired now and then. Well, the memory wasn't serious, but she must be very careful. I take it you're the patient today. I'm not here as a patient. What, then? Security service. Lieutenant Eric Dorff. What have I done? Do you know a woman named Dr. Gutmann? Yes, she used to be our maid. Dr. Weiss, you know it's illegal to treat Aryan patients. I did that out of, out of habit. I, I used to have a great many Gentile patients. You and your wife included. I'm reluctant to come to you this way, but it's for your own good. I understand. I don't usually run these errands. I'm in administrative work. You don't make house calls. You're a specialist. Yes. Rather like that. Someone told me you treated an Aryan. I thought it best to advise you before anyone else did. Oh, this is beyond me. A few years ago, I examined your wife. I, I prescribed for her in this very office. I was your family doctor. Why haven't you left Germany? You're not a poor man. Good question. Get out. Get out while you can. But Jews get ill. They need medical care. And if all the doctors left, who would take care of them? It's only the old and the poor who have stayed. Doctor, things won't get easier for you. How much worse can they get? We're no longer citizens. We have no legal rights. Property can be confiscated. I can't belong to a hospital. I can't get any drugs in the name of humanity. What else can you do to us? You mustn't come to me for help. No appeal on the basis of, of past associations? No appeal. I bear you no personal malice. Leave.
paid. Not that easy. one of the hard ones. It was superb. I can't imagine it could be played any better. Oh. Anna, would you leave us for a few minutes? I'd like to talk to Mama privately. Hmm? I bet I know what about. Are we leaving or are we staying? Anna. Remember the Dorf family? The Baker? Mm. The ones you took care of all those years and who owe you so much? Their son just called on me. To pay old debts? Young Dorf is a member of the security police. He came to warn me about treating non-Jews. He said I should leave the country. How kind of him. Bertha. Hmm? Maybe we should make the move. It's been a long time. We, we, we should have left three years ago, after Carl was married. What are you saying, Joseph? That I made a stay? No, my darling. It, it was a mutual decision. We both made the decision. Oh, Joseph. We are no good at these games. I told you, in this very room, when the attacks began, this is my country as much as theirs. I do not fear those barbarians. You needn't chastise yourself. I'm needed here. Look at the people in my office. Now, it's odd how the Nazis keep insisting all Jews are rich. They should see my patients. Oh, my beloved husband. It's true. We both made the decision. Things were going to get better. Yes, there was just another politician. Didn't your father assure us it would all pass? Which forced you to justify my foolishness. Maybe it isn't too late. That railway fellow that Inga knows. We'll talk about it later. Not us, the children must get out. Bernard, we have been playing the Nazis game too long. We have been lingering here, waiting for the next blow. I think about Carl and Anna and Rudy. We will survive. This is the country of Beethoven, Schiller, and Mozart. Unfortunately, none of them are in office right now. Call Carl and Inga, Berta. Ask him to dinner. We've got to re-examine some very important matters. Why didn't you call it? Dirty Jew.
Leave it to a Jew to fight dirty. Come on, we'll rick off the field if you want. But they do it. Still play for them. Let me go. He's right. Wipe out. What do you mean out? I've been in every game this year. You're suspended for fighting. You can't do that. Go on, Weiss. Get off the field. Go. Sorry, Rudy. My friend at the railway station says you may be able to bribe your way out, but they'll want a great deal of money. Well, perhaps they can arrange that. Where does he suggest we go? He didn't say. There's no place left to go, Papa. I'm sure about that? France, perhaps? Switzerland? The Swiss are turning Jews back, the French too. Nobody wants us. That's right. I heard a rumor. The United States won't even let in enough German Jews to fill the German quota. They've already turned some back. Who cares? We have each other. Isn't that right, Mama? No, of course, Anna. I'm so ashamed. Perhaps if I talk to that man again. It's no use. We've waited too long. Papa Spurta, uh, the children, that organization that for sending children to England and the United States. Joseph, that was closed down long ago. We could always run into the woods and hide. We've got to try the embassies then, the American, British. Perhaps we could go to Poland. Technically speaking, I'm still a Polish citizen. Papa, I hear it's almost as bad there. We are going nowhere. Not for the time being. Mama always has her way. Maybe, because she's always right. Hitler has Czechoslovakia. He has Austria. What more does he want? It's enough for him to digest all that Austrian pastry and that Czech beer. And you believe him? He is a politician. All this hatred against the Jews is political. As soon as he gets what he wants, he will forget about us. Mama's right. Some of them really aren't against us. It's just politics. My father says that the generals disagree with what is going on. Awful things. Yes, I think we can be optimistic. Anna, clear the table, will you? I'll help. Mama, don't get up. A cowardly and murderous act by the international Jewish conspiracy. Mm. The government is identified as Herschel Greenspan, a Polish Jew who shot down hair from wrath in cold blood with no provocation. Already, spontaneous demonstrations against Jews are reported. The German people will rise in their anger to avenge... Rudy, turn it off. No, I want to hear it. Life. Herr von Rath was shot outside the embassy. Doctors say he is in critical condition. Good for you, Greenspan. We should have killed him. Rudy, turn it off. As soon Rudy, as do as your mother says. And now... It's all right. It's all right. I'm respected in this neighborhood. Cowards. Hello? This is Lieutenant Dorr. Oh, no. Yes, I'll be there at once. Bad news? Von Rath just died. Oh, the poor man. They want me at headquarters. Some kind of security measures are to be invoked. Dad, did the bad people kill Von Rath? Yes, Peter, but they'll be punished. The Jews killed him. And they're all bad. Dad's going to punish the bad people. That's why he's got a gun. I guess so damn foolish with that gun. Symbolic, Eric. No one expects you to shoot anyone. They'd be in for a big surprise if they asked me to. I'm not sure which is the right end. It's begun. What happened? Reprisals. But you said security measures. Goebbels has had this kind of thing in mind for a long time. Heydrich will have to control him somehow. Just hope it doesn't hold up my promotion. They only have three years and only a lieutenant. I was up for captaincy, but... Heydrich will have other things on his mind now. This is your chance to impress him, darling. Don't hide your light under a bushel. 
You're smarter than all those hoodlums he keeps around him. Smarter and no street brawler. I don't like to fight or tell others to fight. But you have a mind, Eric. You're a lawyer. A man who knows the law and understands people. The general knows that. Then speak up. Don't just be Heydrich's errand boy. Give him advice. Heydrich doesn't need my advice. He's brilliant. Then help him out. Encourage him. He knows how smart you are. He just wants some action from you. Yes. Action. and psychopaths loose. They're beating up Jews. Burning houses without any plan, any system. Is he acting on orders? Oh, I doubt it. Looking to make a name for himself, get high marks from the Fuhrer. But aren't reprisals necessary? Yes. But we just bluffed the Allies into the Munich Pact. We're decent, peaceful fellows, aren't we, Dorf? Even the foreign press has begun to speak well of us. But after this, arson, riots, damn Goebbels! If I may say so, sir, it isn't even his area of responsibility. We're the police arm. Yes, but it would look even worse if our uniformed men started to burn down synagogues. Then let them do it as civilians. No party banners and no insignias. And absolutely no uniforms. Gestapo, SS, SA, nothing. The righteous anger of the German people rising against the assassins. A civilian action, as it were. Yes, sir. Enraged citizens. Of course, we must somehow get across to the police not to interfere. We might warn you police units to adjust their measures accordingly, which will mean hands off. You amaze me, Dorf. Put out the order. I'm beginning to appreciate what a fine legal mind can do. Thank you, sir. It's a marvelous notion. Tell them to put on business suits. And mind you, Dorf, no damage to German property. And all resistors must be shot. Bring me the papers on Lieutenant Dorf's promotion to captain, will you?
Western cities, outraged patriotic citizens are punishing Jewish conspirators and Bolsheviks believed to be part of the assassination plot. Jews Hello? suspected of involvement Mama? in the attack on Hervon Mama, what is are it? being arrested and interrogated. Oh, my God. Authorities are convinced that they will catch them. No, 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 lock the doors. What is it? Children, leave the room. No. You stay also. Mama, what happened? Grandfather was beaten and marched away. Most of the stores in the street were burned. Was he badly hurt? Mother didn't say. Oh, Joseph, what are we to do? I hope Carl and Inga got home safely. Police, call the police. The police? They're in with them. I'll get Grandpa. No! No, wait! Wait! We must all just wait until this ends. You can wait, not me. Rudy! 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 You cannot go out and fight them. I mean, to kill people. All they need is an excuse. Papa is right. You must not antagonize them. They've got all the excuses they need. Rudy! Rudy! Rudy, wait for me! Ah. Anna! Anna, I forbid it! Who's with them? Shut up! Do you know what you are? Phil, that's what you are. Oh, Rudy. Phil, Phil. You stay here. I'll get it. Phil, Phil, Phil. Let go of him. He's hurt. What's it got to do with you? Leave him alone. He's no man. You want to fight? Huh? Fight with me. Inga's brother-in-law, Rudy Weiss. Why don't we let them go? Get off the streets, Weiss. little bird. I'll survive.
reports on the action, sir? 36 deaths. The foreign press will not raise a fuss over that. 70 synagogues burned. Over 800 Jewish shops and businesses burned. Arrests? 30,000. 30,000? They'll fill Buchenwald overnight. And the press has given us a name, Kristallnacht. Night of broken glass. Drink? No, thank you, sir. Well, you've not many bad habits, have you, Dorf? Rarely drink, don't smoke. Ideal family man. You uh, think we've stirred up a hornet's nest with this Kristallnacht? There will be protests, perhaps retaliatory action, boycotts, and so on. Anything else? Very little. A few governments will stick their necks out for Jews. Jews have always been fair game. It's almost as if there's a moral precedent for punishing them. <laughs> That's marvelous, a moral precedent. I'm sorry if I said something stupid. Mm, not at all. Moral precedent. And religious precedents. And above all, racial precedents. May I return home, sir? Mm -hmm. Rembrandt's wife. He never tired of painting her. More likely he couldn't afford models. <laughs> uh, always the realist. Well, I suppose both reasons were valid. I'm not Rembrandt, am I? Just another unemployed commercial artist. I won't let you say it. It's true. Even my father knows it. He wanted me to study medicine and me my dreams of being another Picasso. Carl, you are a fine artist. Adequate. Inga, please, just sit down. You know, I can't even earn a living. They aren't hiring Jews anywhere. So, of course, the agencies aren't interested. I haven't had a commission in months. Oh, well, we'll manage. We always have. Hmm. No. <laughs> There's no life left here for me. And I, I don't want harm to come to you because of me. I won't! I won't listen to this. Proper mother of yours, she took all the fight out of you. Look at me. Look at me. I see the most beautiful girl in all of Germany. And a very stubborn one. I'm going to try and get you some new identity papers. Inga. Then we can move somewhere else where they don't know us. Bremen. Hamburg, Inga. then you can work. Inga, you're dreaming. It is the same all over Germany. The synagogue of Munich destroyed by fire. Citizens groups, angered by the Jewish domination of the banks and the press, raided the Jewish quarter today, killing several no innocent... No more. Look at me. You must leave me. On safety. Kiss me. Will it change the world? Couldn't hurt.
Please. They asked for Carl. Mama, you should have warned us. It's no use. They're all over the neighborhood. Police, brown shirts. You could have lied. We could have been arrested for hiding one of them. Inga, you make trouble for us. Weiss, Carl? Yes? You have ten minutes to pack a bag and come with us. What has he done? Why are you taking him? Routine questioning. No, no, no. What is his crime? What has he done? Who knows? I follow orders. A few hours questioning and he'll be home. I'm ready now. No. No, I know about this routine questioning. I know about visits to the police station. People go and they don't come back. Inga, it'll be all right. I am his wife. I'm going along. Suit yourself, madam, but you will not be allowed to stay. Come along, wife. Get in touch with Hans. Some of those people that he knows, ask him to help us. I will not. You brought this on us. Let the Jews suffer for what they've done. Not us. Not our family. Inga! Don't go! They don't want you! Inga! They didn't come for you! Inga! Quite a job on you, didn't they? Six of them. They wrecked my printing press, smashed the type. Familiar story. Father-in-law's place also. Well, I guess there's no place to hide. But I hear the worst is over. Goring is sore at Goebbels for the riots. Stole the show from him, so he's calling off his dogs. <laughs> you believe that, though? Mr. Lowy, I don't know what to believe anymore. You know, all this picking on the Jews, what do we ever do to them? All that business about killing Christ, that was a long time ago. I suspect the Nazis couldn't care less about Christ or his teachings, but then I'm a theologian, I'm just a general practitioner. There you go, good as new. Excuse me. Joseph. Oh. I'll be a moment. lost. You could only take what you see here. They robbed everything. Some heroes. You will be safe here. Mama, you will be comfortable in Carl's old room. We've no right to make it harder for you. Oh, don't be silly. It's a great honor to have you. Rudiana, take things into Carl's room. It doesn't make sense. Germany needs a strong economy. We are part of that economy. Unpack. Poor Grandpa. Rudy. Dr. Like Weiss speaking? Ah, Inga. Carl. Y yes, I understand, but what did they say? What did they tell you? Nothing. I Inga, would you like somebody to come over there? Has something happened to Carl? They, they've arrested him. He's being held at the central police station. <laughs> no, no, Inga's waiting at the station. <laughs> She'll call back later. Mama, Carl never did anything. That's right. You see, he'll be released. <laughs> we are being punished for my pride, my stubbornness. No, no. <laughs> I must, I must see that Mama and Papa are comfortable. 
Rudy, you will do the shopping. List is with the basket. Okay. Try to get some rest. I'll get your sedative, all right? I'm fine. You have a patient waiting in the office. So I do. wants to take us to the opera. Oh, Eric, I'd be embarrassed. All those rich women in their gowns. You'll be the prettiest one there. We're going to have to socialize more, Martha. I'm quite content to look after the children and to keep house for my husband, Captain Eric Dorff. I can't believe it. A few suggestions for me, a few ideas I've been kicking around. Now he knows I'm there. And to think that you once looked down on, what did you call it? Police work? You'd be astonished by your husband's confidence. Today, I untangled a knot for Heydrich. It seems that German insurance companies are liable for all that broken glass. Well, I said, let them pay and then let the government confiscate the money on the grounds that Jews provoked the riots. Well, that was the truth, wasn't it? Yes, of course it's the truth. Kiss Daddy good night. Smell like spring flowers, children. I'm no flower. They're not. You're sweet like your mother. Daddy, why does everybody hate the Jews? Because they killed Christ. Didn't you learn that in Sunday school? Come on, you two. Off to bed now. <laughs> Eric, don't stay up too late now. Well, who can they have to be at this hour? I'll get it. Dr. Weiss. <laughs> May I? Uh, Come in. Thank you. I apologize, but I was afraid if I telephoned you would refuse to see me. I told you, Doctor. You were not to come to me. I have nowhere to turn. Edolf, my son Carl, was arrested. Not a word from him. Where he was sent, nothing. He has never had political thought in his life. He's an artist. I can't help you. What have we done to you? What crime have we committed? My father-in-law is a decorated army veteran. His home, his shop were burned. My, my family, my sons, they feel as German as you do. These measures are not directed against you and your family personally. Well, that doesn't make it any easier. They are part of long-range policies, for your own benefit as well as ours. But lives are being wrecked. People are being destroyed. Why? I can't discuss this with you. Oh, please don't. You're an officer, may I says you have influence. Help my son. I told you not to come. Eric, is anything wrong? No, dear, I'll be right in. The wife perhaps will understand. Let her put herself in my place. Let her feel about her son as we do about ours. Adolf, you sat in my office. You trusted your wife's health to me. Eric? Is that Dr. Weiss? What is he doing here? Some business with his son. He wants you to intervene. Yes. Tell him to leave. You can't endanger your career. Tell him you refuse to help him. I already have. I 
cannot help you. Uh, Mr. Fields, maybe just a word from him, but to know where he is or how we could get him released. I can't. Uh, no, uh, no, please. please. Right. Good night. Okay. Okay. Now, hold still, son. This is going to hurt for just a moment, but only for a minute. Oh. No, hold still. I've got a bad sprain. Please, I have a patient in here. Office of Immigration. Herr Dorf sent you. I don't know any Herr Dorf. You are Dr. Joseph Weiss, Koningstrasse 22, born in Warsaw, Poland. You are here on a special visa. Yes. You are ordered deported to Poland. You are to be at the Anhalter station tomorrow at 6 a.m. with food for one day and one bag. My wife and children. The order applies only to you. Give this to the officer in charge tomorrow. Goldberg, Morris, Palm Zeile, 34, Berlin. The name of the whore who gave birth to you. My mother is no whore. All Jewish women are whores. Name of the whore who gave birth to you. She's no whore. Weiss, Carl, Wellingstrasse 12, Berlin, I'm an artist. One of those lying Jew cartoonists, Weiss, throwing Bolshevik propaganda. It says here that you were denounced by a party member, the Jew communist. But I, I'm just a commercial artist. Who would say such a thing about me? Just answer the questions! The name of the whore who gave birth to you. But who would denounce me? I said the name of the whore who gave birth to you. My mother is not a whore. I can't hear you. Name of the hall? Berta. Berta Pallet's wife. The pimp who raped her? Dr. Joseph Weiss. Uh, what crime did you commit to be assigned to Buchenwald? I did nothing. Try again. What crime did you commit? I have done nothing. Let us pray in silence for the children of Abraham. Outside, the synagogue is burning, and that, like this church, is a house of God. In many homes, an inflammatory newspaper is being distributed, warning us that if we show any sentimentality toward the Jews, we commit treason. This church and this priest will pray for the Jews. For all victims, we shall pray. For all those facing terrible ordeals. For all the innocent. Fool. Let's go. Yes. My name is Eric Dorf.
Captain Eric Dorf, security police. I listened to your sermon with much interest. What did you learn from it, my son? That you are a kind man, but misinformed. But I know what is happening to the Jews. Father Pophias concluded a concordat with Hitler. The Vatican regards us as the last bastion between Christian Europe and Bolshevism. But that does not justify tormenting the innocent. No one is being tormented. But I've seen Jews beaten on the streets, sent off to prisons for no reason. They are enemies of the Reich, and we are engaged in a war, Father. A war against armed enemies or against defenseless Jews? Father, I appeal to you to be more temperate in your remarks. I will follow my conscience. Don't let it lead you astray. You must be aware that almost to a man, church leaders are actively supporting our policies. Well, in that case, I must draw a distinction between what Christianity teaches and how some people distort and betray that teaching. Such an intelligent young man. Our gift to the new era. Special deportation train for the Polish border will depart in five minutes. All passengers <coughs> must be staffed. Cry, Berta, you make me very angry. I'm not crying, Joseph. Joseph, how we will miss you. This may be the best thing that has ever happened to us. My brother Moses will meet me. I'll get work. When Carl is free, you can come. Joseph, I will go with you. No, Berta, now the children need you. You and England must keep trying to get Carl out of prison. Joseph, how did this happen to us? It wasn't our doing. But I'm feeling better about things. This business will open our eyes. I made us stay. Oh, my beloved wife, no more of that foolish argument. You should sell the apartment in the clinic, find a smaller place. And you must not make every night call that comes in. And you will wear your boots in the rain and snow. Poland is very damp. You must not sell the piano. Anna must continue her lesson. <laughs> Anna, Rudy, you're going to say goodbye to Papa. Oh, Papa. <laughs> We'll come stay with you. Uncle Moses can find us a home and you can work again. Yes, of course, of course, of course. But meanwhile, there are the old folks to look after at the car. I'm, I will be fine. <laughs> work at your music, Anna. Help your mama. Mm -hmm. hey, Rudy. But maybe you could go back to school. Life doesn't begin and end with a soccer game. You have to prepare yourself for a career. I know, Papa. I'll try school again. <laughs> they can never defeat us as long as we love each other. In real Latin, Bertha, amor winked omnia, love conquers all. Dr. Weiss. Absolutely. You do well. I, I guess they got most of us. You know my wife. How do you do? You see, Berta, I'm the only doctor to be deported with his own supply of patients. should have run away. They'll never do that to me. Oh, you're so tough. What will you do when they come for you, the way they came for Carl and Papa? I'll fight. Come along, John.
Take the plate on the end. Good morning. I'm Weinberg from Bremen. Weiss, Berlin. Be glad you're in where it's warm. Outside, you wouldn't last two weeks. You a tailor? Artist. I, I did some textile designing, so they assigned me here to the tailor shop. Listen, does anyone ever get out of here? Get to work. No talking. Just getting him started. Start sewing these on the left side. Good way to learn about your fellow prisoners. Red triangle, political prisoner. That means anyone who disagrees with him. Green, common criminal. That could mean telling a joke about Hitler. Purple, Jehovah's Witnesses. Black, what they call uh, shiftless elements, schnorrers and so on. Pink, homosexuals. Brown is for gypsies. Gypsies? Sure. Buchenwald's full of them. They give the guards fits. The SS buried two gypsies alive yesterday. When they dug them out, their tongues stuck out like sausages. I know who that's for. Don't we all? And this? Idiots, morons, feeble-minded. What is their crime? Useless. You should see the guards when they start working on them. Teasing, beating. Weinberg, I can't believe this. Can't you? There's a house where they take the lunis, crazies, half-wit scribbles. Gas them to death. Gas? Let's talk in more work. Real music. Half the Berlin Philharmonic is here. The troops. Diaphragmy, examining table, autoclave, medicines. These are all of them, Doctor. The office, the garage, the front door, and the back door. You're a most kind Frau Weiss. I wish I could say the same about your people. I apologize uh, for the way this was done. I knew your husband professionally. Yes. Before he was dismissed from the central hospital. Other times, other customs, Frau Weiss. And the reimbursement we are supposed to receive. The party is reviewing your case. We shall be at this address, care of the Helms family, if you have word for us. There'll be no word. They've stolen Father's office and our home. Come on, Mama. Just a minute, Rudy. Anna with us? Maybe later, Anna. There'll be very little room. We really must go now. I know. Let's play the Lorelei. We sang it at Carl and Inga's wedding. Remember? All right. Rudy, go tell Grandmama and Grandpapa we're leaving. Yes, Mother. Grandma, Grandpa, it's time to go. Grandpa. 
Grandpa? Like some more ice cream. Say no thank you to Major Eichmann. No, no thank you, Major Eichmann. Mom, can we go to the Kirsoma? Oh, I'm afraid all that ice cream and pastry will go round and round in your stomach. If you get ill, perhaps Major Eichmann will provide medical care. Do <laughs> you want me to take them, Martha? No, I'll take them. I'll just watch. My poor stomach can't take it. Excuse me. Is ill. She has a heart murmur. She tires easily. She's fine otherwise. Charming woman. Now, I'm always gratified to show uh, my operations to someone from Berlin. Train scheduling, warehousing, processing. Now that we've got Czechoslovakia, I'm afraid there's another quarter of a million Jews to worry about. They say you're a man who gets results without riots. A matter of organization. You'd be surprised how Jewish leaders cooperate with us. Honey draws the flies, not garlic. That, and obedience to any orders I get. Un bon soldat. You understand French? Yes. How did you know? I've seen your file. I managed to get a peek at everyone. Your father, Klaus Dorf, Baker, died 1933, suicide, killed himself with a Luger. Apparently he was a socialist. I'll be damned. Don't get used to it, Dorf. Spy versus spy, it's how we survive. It's not how I intend to survive. How then? By obeying orders as you do. Excellent. Of course, it's always a good idea to know your weak points. Even Heydrich's had his problems. They say there's a Jew in his family tree. I don't believe it. Went to court to end the rumors. There's something fishy in his background. At least that's what they say. I wonder what they'll say about me. A hard-working, intelligent aide to the chief of the Gestapo under the security service. Now, Heydrich's memoranda is infinitely more readable since you took over. Resettlement. Relocation. Redefining the Jewish problem. One of his sins is throwing the Jews out and taking what they are. I'm always pleased to provide amusement for a brother officer. I see your obsession. I'm not concerned. You needn't be. They're all afraid of Heydrich. Himmler, Goering, Goebbels. Sometimes I think even the Fuhrer himself. Heydrich's got a file on everyone. Oh, this is too much excitement for them and for me. Martha, I think we should go to the hotel and rest. Can we go on the carousel again? No, Peter. Do you really want to go? Yeah. I'll take it. Thank you. We can't thank you enough, Major. What a glorious day. We'll never forget it. Oh, I've enjoyed it as much as you have. Your husband's a very lucky man. I know. To have come so far in his job, to have Herr Heydrich's trust and yours. I meant his wife, his beautiful children. That's what Germany really means, doesn't it? Home, family, honor. And to think I had to bully him into joining the service. He's changed, as we all do in the service, to all of us, especially our children.
Jews. <laughs> Now. Empty your pockets. You will take only 10 marks out of Germany with you. You do stole from the German people, and we reclaim the money in their name. Just plain crooks. Too many money. Okay. What's that? That's a graduation present for my wife. Those Polish pigs won't care. I don't know about doctors. Open! All right, move along. Move along. Families stay together. Move, move. Keep moving. Move right ahead. Quiet. Yes, no talking. Is the family here, Doc? Step along. Step along. Yes, I wrote to my brother. No talking aloud. Pharmacist in Warsaw. Me and the wife, we got nobody. Get your papers ready. Proof of citizenship. Come on, come on, come on. That's your passport. All right, what are you waiting for? Come on, come on. Yeah. <laughs> How was the trip? Oh, well, uh, not quite the Orient Express. We were diverted a few times. <laughs> oh, the dust. The curse of Poland. <laughs> you didn't say much in your letter, but we heard bad things. Carl is still in prison. They haven't even told us where. Yes, I know. You heard from Berta? You keep bringing something back from me. Berta managed to get a phone call through last night. Yes? The palaces are dead. The old people took their own lives. Good God! What did Berta say? She said they died peacefully. I'm sorry to have to be the one to tell you this. That good old man. So proud of being a German. And that, that gentle old lady. They left them nothing, Moses. I hear that from now on, things will improve. They'll gradually let up on the Jews. Eventually, they'll open all the jails. You'll see. But now you'll come with me to Warsaw. Hmm? Oh, I've arranged for you to work in a hospital there. And there's a room for you in the apartment, if you don't mind living over the pharmacy. The railroad station isn't very far. No, 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 let me, let me. We'll take the train to Warsaw, and, and I have a lunch for us. Like the old days, Moses. Remember those fishing trips? <laughs> yes. We didn't catch much fish, but we ate a lot of sandwiches. Doc. <laughs> we overheard. I'm sorry, I knew old Mr. Pallet, sir. He was a real gentleman. Thank you, Mr. Lowy. My brother Moses, this is a patient of mine, Mr. Lowy. And Mrs. Lowy? Some way for Jews to meet between Germany and Poland. <laughs> and they don't mark the roads here with kilometers, but with anti-Semites. <laughs> Doc, I was just thinking, me and the wife, we got, uh, we got no place to go. All our relatives are kaput. Do you mind if we go along with you? No charity, nothing. I'm a printer, but it would be nice if we could be with people that we know. Well, Warsaw is no paradise. 
We gave up on paradise a long time ago. We'll settle for a bed and a cup of tea. Of course. Certainly you must come with us. Come along. Can I carry your case for you? Here, that's it. 